the salon once again um, because we have a wedding to attend tomorrow. So I'm going to be getting my hair done, nails done, and then potentially looking for a little bit of makeup. There's a Mac store here in Addis. Um, so I'm gonna peek in there and see what they have. As you guys probably know and can tell right now, like I'm not really a makeup person, but you know, for a wedding, it's a special occasion, why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and see what they have. Hopefully it won't be too expensive as usually imported stuff is more expensive. And um, Mac is just generally expensive anyways. Mac makeup, even in the US. So we'll see what I can find. And I'm gonna try to get my sister-in-law to come with me if she's available, because she already did her hair yesterday. Anyways, come along with me guys and let's have a great day. Seems like the weather's gonna be nice today. Hey guys, I finished my hair and now I'm on my way. Instead of going to MAC Makeup, I'm going to um, meet my husband and his brothers for lunch because none of us ate and I'm starving. So I'm just gonna do that and we'll figure out the makeup thing tomorrow because I'm not doing makeup today anyways because the wedding's tomorrow and I can't sleep with makeup on my face. So I think um, I'll just deal with that tomorrow. But yeah, hope you guys like it. I do, it looks really cute. Um, it's kind of long. Yeah, so anyways, I'll talk to you guys after lunch. Hey guys, we're on our way to the wedding now. Okay, so prior to the actual wedding, we headed over to the bride's family's house to get some um, family pictures in. And as you can see here, we're just fixing our Nutellas to make sure that they are properly placed for the pictures and that we look nice. And then um, here's the bride and some of the gentlemen taking pictures with her. And um, you can see she looks so beautiful on her special day, just radiant and happy. And um, they did hire a professional photographer, as most people do, to come and take the family photos prior to the wedding. But they will also go with them over to the wedding area. And the groom, as it is custom in Ethiopia, comes to the bride's family's house to pick up his bride and bring her to the wedding venue. Um, so we were here waiting on him to come in. This was kind of like a false start. <laughs> we thought he was here, um, but then he came shortly after that. So everyone was clapping and celebrating and welcoming in the groom and his groomsmen as he came to take his bride. Um, and it's such a fun, festive occasion, and it's a very cool culture that they have here in Ethiopia where, you know, um, it's just, it's more special to me, you know, as opposed to in the West where the groom doesn't see his bride until they're both at the venue. Like, this is more, like, um, sentimental, I think, you know, um, coming to take the bride from her family's house to be with her new husband. And there he is standing with the roses there. And um, this is like <laughs> a cute little uh, game or something like that they do where the groom has to try and, or groomsmen, they try to force their way into the house. Obviously it's jokingly. Um, and then the groom comes in, but I don't know if this is the, custom at all weddings but he's not really supposed to see the bride yet um or if they were just you know playing the, there's the <laughs> bridesmaids preventing him from seeing his bride and um yeah I think it's just joking because obviously they're gonna leave together but it was just a, a cute fun moment and I really enjoyed it so here is the procession of the bridesmaids and groomsmen and the bride and the groom obviously um, heading out from the family's house to the actual wedding venue. And then, um, obviously, the rest of us will head there as well. But we did stay for a few minutes. 
um, to eat a little free lunch because we hadn't eaten all day and drink some coffee with the family. So, um, yeah, it's just an all day event, really. The wedding is in the evening. So we started at the house at, I think we got there around 11 a.m. or noon and then um, pretty much stayed all day. Here they are, the bride and the groom, um, showing respect to her parents and the elders in the family as they bow to kiss their knees. Um, once again, Ethiopian culture is, is big on respect, and I think that is a very beautiful thing and something you know, that we've lost sight of in some ways in, in our modern world and modern um, societies. But I think Ethiopia has done a very good job of preserving their culture in the respectful aspects of the culture. Oh, look, she's already crying. <laughs> the wedding hasn't even started, but that's what I was saying earlier. It's a sentimental thing to be leaving your family's house, you know. You're a woman now, and everybody's just celebrating and just happy. You know, it's a happy occasion. And so we're celebrating with our brother and sister here, who are now husband and wife. Well, I guess at this point, soon to be husband and wife, but... <laughs> As I'm recording this, of course, it's they're already married. And it's time to head out to the wedding venue now. One thing I did notice about Ethiopian weddings um, is that I don't see people taking vows. If anybody knows why that is, or maybe I missed it, um, feel free to let me know in the comments. I think, you know, it'd be interesting to hear that perspective because um i think the vows is something that is special that happens in american weddings you know um just making the commitment you know sealing the covenant with one another <laughs> And this is the wedding venue. Um, it's very beautiful. We've actually been to another wedding here before. And I think the place handles all of the drinks and food and decor um, because everything always looks so nice and is very well put together. the bride and groom and the um, wedding party coming in after selecting their food and um, you can see them all here the bride and groom didn't actually have to get their own food um, somebody brought it for them which makes sense <laughs> And here we are sitting at the family table, just waiting um, to get up and go get our food, which was really good, by the way. I was surprised. <laughs> Thank you. 
as you guys can see, it was a really great time. Everyone is just celebrating the new bride and groom and wishing them the best of luck.